Hey YouTube, uh, this is a GunDude73 bringing you another knife video. And uh, this is a knife that I have been wanting for a very, very long time. And I feel very lucky to have gotten one, you know. And I'd like to have a few shout outs here. I'd like to say thanks to Knives and Stuff 45 and John Wayne Colt 45 for being my quote unquote inspiration for going ahead and just getting it. And thanks to Coltrane 811 for uh, hooking me up. So, yeah. So you probably you know about the title, but you don't know what it looks like. I managed to get a small Sabenza. As you can see. It's a, oh, this is, this is a great knife, guys. You know. So now that's at least three people, including myself, that I know that I've just gone out and gotten one. After selling some stuff. So... Let's take a look here. It's, I guess I have to clean it because it's a little tough to open, but it still looks great. It's it's a user. You can see some scratches in the blade there, but I don't mind. I'm gonna carry it and use it. And um, I was going to hold off on doing this video because I hurt my thumb with opening the thumb stud too many times. I suppose and it was kind of tough, so I don't want to show that. And just avoid that aspect. As you can see. This is a regular Sabenza with these um, scallops. The lockup on it is great. Nice and early, not too late. It's just perfect. Um, pocket clip is fantastic. Um, it feels great in my hand. This is a small Sabenza. I bought this small because I can legally carry it where I live. You're probably wondering what it looks like. So here, well, you know what it looks like, but to get some size references, here is a Spyderco paramilitary. You can see that the para is quite a bit larger, mostly in the handle. Yeah, that's the size difference overall. But the build quality on the Sabenza is just fantastic. And um, something a bit smaller would be my rat, oops, rat Azula here, and I got a custom sheath done. Doesn't that look cool? I think it looks cool. So let me take it out of its sheath. There's the Azula. So it's about, just about as big as a small Sabenza. The Sabenza is a bit bigger. With the Azula, I can get a good three finger grip on it. With the the Benza, I can actually get all four fingers on it pretty comfortably. So, yeah, it's a great knife. So, um, the tolerances are very tight on this knife. Um, it's well centered, perfectly. Rounded spine, which feels very nice in the hand. Um, I got the plane because I like the way it looks. So I agree with. John Wayne Colt 45 that the inlays kind of break up the lines in the knife. You know, this the standard plane. It's so simple, yet so just, you know, beautiful. So I think today I might uh, clean this because I think it might be a little dirty in the action or it might need some lube or something because it's really tough to to open. It's not very smooth. Yeah, that's what it did to my thumb, by the way, just to show you. It hurts really bad. So, <laughs> I didn't want to show it, but there, there I did. Ow, it hurts. But it's starting, that was, I did that last night when I got it. I was opening like crazy, as you well imagine. You know, I was on cloud nine yesterday. Because I got this, and then I won the John Wayne Colt 45. I won the Schrade knife, so... A vid on that will come when I get it. I'll probably do an unboxing video with it because I haven't done one yet and I said I would to John. So, And plus I'll use the Sabenza in it. So yeah, that's my Sabenza. I can say that now. It feels great, you know. My advice to anyone out there who was thinking about, you know, selling off some of their knives to get one, do it. You know, it's like the paramilitary is a nice knife, you know, but... But this, this is like, you know, a whole other game. It's a whole other level. 
very loud lockup and very solid. I cannot, um, some knives have a little bit of rock, a little bit of play in the blade. Like the paramilitary has tight lockup, but if I really shake the blade to see if it's tight, I could get a little bit of side to side play, just a little bit, but, um, with this, I cannot get this blade to move. You know, it is solid, unquestionably solid. So that would that does my video on the Sabenza, and my next vid will be that Schrade knife from John, and I'll do an unboxing vid. So you can look forward to that in a couple days. This is Gun Dude 73 signing out, and have a good one.